today we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And directly behind us is where Pickett's Charge took place. Now we're here to show you Steinware Avenue. This is where Bobby and I stay most of the time when we're here in Gettysburg. We're gonna show you the hotels and the restaurants in case any of you guys are interested in coming to Gettysburg and can't decide where you wanna stay. If you wanna stay across town, in the square, or out this way. Out this way, we love it. The uh, right across from me is more of the battlefield. You got the National Cemetery. This is our favorite spot. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's get started. Quick look at where Pickett's Charge took place. There's the high water mark down at that end. Plenty of monuments on this side. We're just gonna start at the first thing. General Pickett's Buffet and Battle Theater. The Battle Theater doesn't exist anymore. At least hasn't been open for a while. And we have eaten at General Pickett's. What'd you think of that, Bobby, when we ate there? The time we came, it was, it was pretty good. It gets mixed reviews. Yes. We came right before a couple big tour buses came, so everything was loaded. We enjoyed it. We thought it was all right. Some people don't like it. Our, the day we were here, we'll just say that, the day we were here had a pretty good experience. What do you want to say about this KFC? We ate here, but the chicken was so greasy. I mean, it was terrible. So, you don't recommend that. We probably will never go back that day. They just weren't busy that day. It just seemed like the chicken was setting for a long time. I ended up throwing it away. Yep. She threw it away, guys. And I don't like to throw food away. Mine was all right. Just probably because of that experience. With so many other places to go here, we will not eat there. We normally don't eat at the franchise places, but we just wanted a quick meal that day. Yeah, because we were, had some other things to do in this area, so we only had enough time to pick up something quick. Right. Big mistake. <laughs> yeah. Right beside that, McDonald's. I've had McDonald's several times here, like late after we've been to the battlefield. They've always been good. Yep, so no, no problems with McDonald's. So we're going to head past that, head down to Friendly's. Right past McDonald's is Friendly's. How was our experience there? We had a pretty good experience. We probably ate there five years ago. We brought the kids up. It wasn't bad. We got the ice cream. Yeah, you can go right through that front door to get ice cream. Now, recently I've looked on TripAdvisor and it has some really bad reviews. We can't vouch for it now because we haven't been in there for a while. But going by that, I'd be a little leery. Maybe one day we'll go back in. But I noticed all the lampposts, John. Look at how beautiful the flowers are. They always keep them nice here. There's a lot of flowers going down mm -hmm. through there. Now we have arrived at the Lincoln Train Museum. Now we did this a few years back also. It's like a simulated ride on a train carrying Lincoln's body across country. It was pretty neat. It was neat, but that's probably been about five or six years yeah. ago. Yeah, been a while. Uh, there's also miniature trains in here. Because I think they were closed for a little bit because of COVID. Yeah, no, I don't, and we haven't been back in. I went online also on this and read reviews. Not the best now. Maybe one time when we come back up here, we'll have to go back in because we did enjoy the day we went in. We did. But that's been a while, so you might want to find out more about it before you come. There's a nice monument dedicated to the memory of James Getty. We've seen him several times. He always portrayed Lincoln around here, and he did a pretty good job. He's passed away now. They put this monument up for him. Right next to the Lincoln Train Museum is the Best Western. We have stayed here. We can recommend this place. Nice hotel. You said, I think it's upstairs where you ate yeah, breakfast. Yeah, I think it's up on that top level, maybe. You could look over at the battlefield, so that was nice. Yeah, you sit up there and you have a view over this battlefield. And right along this bottom level is the pool and a workout center. 
and it's a pretty good sized pool so it has a nice view of the street and or the battlefield there's benches that you can set out here just to think about the battle or just to relax and look over at the field that's nice it's, it's about 10 o'clock right now so it's nice and peaceful out here our next stop the Gettysburg Heritage Center we did a vlog on here if you want to look this place up have mixed feelings on this place it used to be a wax museum I liked it better then and what it is today now it's pretty nice today it's kind of like daily lives of what it was like to live here during the battle and then like in July you usually see people dressed up in the period time yeah like a Civil War encampment out here and it's a pretty good size bookstore and gift area which well, nice books. Here's a quick peek at the gift shop and all the different books they have in here on the battle. Also have some restrooms, t-shirts. So it's a pretty nice stop. One, if you're coming to Gettysburg, even though I liked it better when it was a wax museum that we highly recommend. Here are the prices to go in the museum. Leaving the Heritage Center, we're coming up on the Appalachian Brewing Company. We like coming here. Had always had great experience here with the food. Very popular place. Nice shaded area, There's benches out in there. I guess it's called like Veterans Park. That little section you can eat out front or inside of this place. Here are the prices in Gettysburg on September 1st. Now we're going to head down here to the Gettysburg Diorama. This is an area you go in and they have like miniatures and they show you the Battle of Gettysburg. I think they have a small display right inside showing you what's in here. Let's go in and see here's a quick look in the diorama for you guys to see when you're in here it plays a full program talking about the battle that's pretty impressive there's the town of Gettysburg here's the devil's den area So this would be a good place to come before you tour the battlefield to learn all the different places that you're looking at what happened there. Look at the detail on the trees to all the soldiers spread out. So for $9, it's definitely worth it. That's probably a picket's charge going across right there we walked pickets charge we did yeah. that was fun but it the ranger program bit, but it was nice it wasn't a hard rain but it was so hot that day so it it made it bearable because this was like july 3rd july 4th we did it there's the evergreen cemetery gatehouse in the battle of cemetery hill but what a great job redoing the town. A nice thing about these benches, they're padded. And then the back has the back. That makes it nice. So you won't get sore sitting yeah, there. It's comfortable. And for a closer look, you can step up on these steps, just like I did. You can really overlook it. A couple good picture spots in here for some selfies. Got one of Lincoln over here. The price of the diorama is adults are $9 plus tax. Senior and child, 65 and up or age 6 through 12 are $6. Five and under are free. So inside here is a huge gift shop. And I think downstairs there's another one. So you got t-shirts, hats, all kind of different things. So if you, don't want to, if you don't want to see the show, just come in here for the gift shop. Let's take a quick peek back here. Let's just see. Got a lot of stuff for the kids. Little hats. 
mugs, plenty of stuff, and some books. So check it out for that. Next to the diorama is a old time photo place, but it's also known for something else. General Reynolds was the first Union General killed in the Battle of Gettysburg, and he was carried to this house. And we had an old time and we, it was in here? And we took it here. Yes, Civil War building. So that building's used in ghost stories around town. They say that General Reynolds haunts that place. The horse soldier, fine military Americana. Can't remember if we've been in there. We can't go in there because they're closed. So we can see in the windows what they have. It's like they have a lot of different antiques and stuff. There we go. Swords, guns, relics, and uniforms. It's two buildings. Here's one of our favorite restaurants, Gettysburg Eddie's. We like this place. Did a full vlog on this and we showed you Eddie's grave. See if I can scan the menu for you. We recommend this place. Check out our video of it. Great atmosphere in here. And very popular next to Gettysburg Eddie's, Gettysburg Souvenirs, and Gift Shop. A lot of different items in there. Another hotel, the Three Crowns Motor Lodge. Never stayed here. No, this is more of a budget hotel. But we can't tell you how great the rooms are or anything about it. But we do know that it's one of the cheaper, <clears throat> sorry, one of the cheaper ones around. Tommy's Pizza. Beautiful day, you can sit outside, enjoy the weather. We did a video on this. Yeah, we liked it, we sat outside. Now, one thing we did here and we saw the damage, a car hit the side of this building on the outside. Not how long ago that was. Yeah, not sure how long ago that was either. Tommy's Pizza since 1973. Yeah, we got pizza and wings here. Locals love it. It's highly ranked on TripAdvisor. We recommend that one. Now we're headed down to the Dobbin House restaurant and tavern. The Lincoln Suite. This is part of the Dobbin House restaurant and tavern. You can stay there. Dobbin House from 17... 76. We love eating here for the atmosphere. When people ask us where to go, this is where we tell them to go to. Yeah, we like going down in the tavern. Um, they got really good French onion soup and a ginger cake. And ginger got, bread cake yeah. with lemon on it. Now, I didn't care for the lemon. It was you very didn't. strong, but John did. And they got good crab cakes. They do history tour here too, didn't they? Are they they did. They used to take you in on Sundays. You could tour the house that part of it is a gift shop but you need to come here for the atmosphere of this place going downstairs you got the candlelight it's kind of uh what brick and everything now they're dressed up in the period and if you want to you can eat outside but don't eat outside go in there and they also have dining upstairs yeah, we've never done that the inside of now we're gonna head on down. There goes Gettysburg Battlefield Tours with the double-decker bus. We did that also. Love sitting on the top. Yeah, that's very fun. Right now might not be the best time to come do one of those because little round tops closed and the devil's den is kind of shut down. So the bus can't go on all these places. Another place to stay, the Dobbin House, Gettysburg Inn, bed and breakfast never stayed in any of these now we're going to get into more of the different shops and ghost tours first stop the great t-shirt company what kind of different Gettysburg t-shirts 
There's some in the wind, if you guys can see them. Hunt's Battlefield Fries. We love this place. Probably some of the best fries. Yeah. And they got good uh, cheesesteaks here, too. American Allegiance Military Patriotic Gettysburg and Confederate Gifts. A lot of t-shirt shops down through here. Another place with t-shirts. The Regimental Quartermaster. Some of theirs. Got some jewelry in there, Bobby. Necklaces. Gettysburg Ghost Tours. The Tattered Flag Tap Room. Craft Beer and Spirits. Another Civil War store. This store also has a big selection of different shirts of all kinds. Our next stop is Kilwins. So if you want some ice cream, homemade fudge, caramel corn. And some big apples in there. We've had those before and they'll cut them for you. Mm -hmm. Next to Kilwins is the Cottage Crepery. It has ice cream and coffee. That used to be just an ice cream shop. So it must have changed over. Funny how they got two ice cream places right by each other. Yep, right next to each other. Floats. Haunted Gettysburg Tours. And they got a nice store in there. We've been up in the store. A lot of different souvenirs and gifts. There's a tattoo shop. Maya Noodle House. We have never been here. About to put this one on our list. Yeah, we've done pretty much every restaurant in this area. We probably love the breaded oysters. Appetizers. Go over here. Might have to come here sometime and try this place. Next shop, Lavender and Sage Metaphysical Shop. Have crystals, herbs, tarot cards. Look at this guy. Wild looking. They have an arcade in there. It's not open today. Rosie's collection. Woman's apparel, accessories, and unique gifts. Bobby decided to come in Rosie's. A quick peek in here. Different jellies and salsa back here. And there's also an upstairs. I didn't think it was that big in here. And they have some different soaps. What do you think of this place? She said it's been here for five years? Yep. We've never been in here. No. Never knew it was. I mean, we've seen it, but never dreamed it had all this stuff. You can have tuxedos stuff over here wouldn't think you'd find this kind of stuff out here next to the battlefield Bobby found a ring she's liking got plenty of choices for $14.99 on sale for all these just picked up Bobby's ring headed down to show you the last few shops on Steinware Avenue. On this side, we're gonna go walk up the other side. Psychic readings. Here's what that costs for a card reading. Army surplus. Because now we're on the corner of where Baltimore Street starts down through here. It's where the Farnsworth house is. We'll do a video on what's down that street. But before we go back up the other side, there's where we normally stay at, the 1863. It's on Baltimore Street. We'll talk about it more when we do that one. But we did a video. We like staying there because it's right here. It's, it's nice. It's easy to get to after a ghost walk and great location. 
free parking. Highly recommend that hotel if you're coming out this way. So now we're gonna cross the street and go up the other side. Starting back up the street, headed to our car on this side. Be Mini Mart and O'Rourke's Family Eatery and Spirits. We recommend that restaurant too. Yeah, very nice. Like sitting outside, except one day I sat out here. It was so hot, I thought I was gonna pass out. Yeah. I was sitting on this table. And I don't think we Right there. And I think the sun was in my yeah, back. The sun was really hot that day. <laughs> but we didn't have an umbrella on our table. No. Oh, was it this one? We sat at this table yes. with no umbrella. And I about died. I don't even think I even finished my meal. But... No. We came up here to see the fireworks. In fact, we had to go inside because you just get filled. Yeah. It was just too hot. Did me in, guys. But they have a lot of different foods. I think I had the like a macaroni and cheese with the, the bangers in there, like yeah. the sausage. Another hotel, the inn at Cemetery Hill. Never stayed here. One of our friends, when he comes up here, this is where he stays. We have noticed that this part of this hotel, you can just sit here, you're right on the street if you want to people watch. That's kind of nice, so if you decide you want to stay here, you might want to ask for one of these rooms. But it's a pretty good size hotel. We'll show it right up here. To show you what the other rooms look like. You just park in front of them. Right there, it goes around. So the inn at Cemetery Hill. Victorian Photography Studio. Looks like they do old pictures in there too, maybe. Have some t-shirts haven't been in there we're not sure what's in there i think this is just a uh sunshine and coffee it says yeah i think we stopped here on the tour bus one time and went in people could get drinks sunshine and coffee right there but they had about everything in there now we're coming up on the gettysburg national cemetery annex They do a great job on the bushes and the lawn to keep these places looking beautiful. We showed this in uh, one of our cemetery tours of all the people that are buried in here and we walked up to the top. So don't forget about coming here if you're here touring the cemetery. Gettysburg Miniature Soldiers Toy Soldier Shop. Have not been in there. I can see them from here. It looks like they're just like miniature guys like the diorama had. So if you're a collector, it might be a neat place to check out. And this is a Dairy Queen. We've never been in this Dairy Queen before. One time. We oh yes, yes. that's right, we did. It was very busy for about five or six years ago. We had the kids and they wanted some ice cream. From the Dairy Queen of all places. Yeah, all these other good ice cream places came not to the Dairy Queen. The Dairy Queen's not good. No. Nah. There's so many. Oh, a lot of good ice cream, ice cream places, places here. here. Blessings Restaurant. So it's Mexican food. Yes, this is a fairly new restaurant. Yeah. We're going to put this one on our list, too. Yeah, we didn't really know it was here. We knew there was a restaurant here at one time, but this one has just opened recently. So we will definitely have to try that one out. Here's the sign out front. Voted the number one Mexican restaurant in Gettysburg in 2022. Oh, look at this plaque. On this site in 1897, nothing happened. And the Colton Motel. Well, this is a budget hotel. We stayed here about seven years ago. We've not been back there since just because we like so many of the 1863, I think, is really our Yeah, it's favorite. our favorite one here. So we can't tell you what it's like inside now. Last few shops on this side of the street. There's the Colton Inn. This business has gone out of business, it looks like. A CBD place and the Quality Inn. We'll walk up a little farther and show you a little better shot of that. 
quality in it's the last business or the first depends on which way you're coming in on that side of the road we have stayed here it's right here on the battlefield got a nice pool outside had a good experience here did a full review of this place if you're interested check that out well, something else you can do here they have a horse and buggy ride you can take I think it's about fifty dollars last around two hours goes through a little bit of the battlefield we've never done that that's something else we need to put on our list well we hope you guys enjoyed our little walk through of the Steinware Avenue area here in Gettysburg I'm glad we took this walk because we ended up seeing a few new restaurants that we've never seen before so we're gonna check them out yeah we love this area this is where we normally stay so if you guys were asking us where to stay this is the area everything to do out here and then you can just walk right to town it's not very far so we're going to end this vlog by just driving out that way through the battle of pickett's charge so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again j, j and b have left the building